Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you swatches and a tutorial using the new Juvia's Place mini palette, the Violets. Now, Juvia's Place, they have just launched four six pan mini palettes, the neutrals, the chocolates, which are which is a brown theme palette, the berries, which is a berry theme palette, and the violets, which is a purple themed palette. And I picked up the berries and the violets, but in this video, I'm going to be focusing on the violets. Please consider subscribing because I will have the berries tutorial and swatch video coming up after this one so if you don't want to miss it hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications now as soon as these palettes dropped I think the same day <laughs> I purchased two of these and I really I'm probably going to go back and purchase the chocolates as well the brown palette um, they're all beautiful the, the the brown one you know I'm not I don't buy too many browns but after seeing it swatched I was like ooh that's probably a brown palette I could get down with these mini palettes are going to cost you $13.99 and then you can buy them in the bundle of four for $52 um, I definitely don't want the neutrals one that's just not my style <laughs> but um, the berries and the violets were, were right up my alley so I bought the two I probably will go back and buy the chocolate one but this one spoke to me immediately and it is beautiful packaging as always um, the artwork is gorgeous and it corresponds with what you see on the inside when you open up the package the top of the flap is the top of the cover is the same um, artwork and then you have these six eyeshadows and in this palette you have two mattes and you have four metallic shades and all but the one in the middle are all purple um, purple theme the one in the middle is I mean it's a berry it's like a, a champagne berry um, so that for me is the only one I could have done without <laughs> honestly I could have done with another royal purple would have been great but I think the the colors that they chose for the palette is really beautiful I mean if you're looking for a purple palette this is definitely a purple palette I like the lilac metallic shade that they included I love that light lilac matte shade and then you have the really deep blue purple shade and then you have the deep purple metallic shade you have a more a lighter purple metallic and then you have that light champagne berry type shade so I, th I think the the color story is absolutely beautiful um, yeah so in working with the palette uh, this was my first time using it and this light lilac shade right here um, nicely pigmented and I'm used to that's what I expect actually from Juvia's Place eyeshadows both the metallics and the mattes I expect them to be pigmented and this one did not disappoint not only was it pigmented it, enough to show up on my skin tone and I did not use a white base um, it also stayed true to color so as I applied it and as I blended it out it still looks to be the same color as it is in the pan which is always nice you don't always want to cross that and so when you do it's very special <laughs> so I really like that now also with this shade <clears throat> when I dipped my brush in the pan no matter how often or how hard or lightly I dipped it and I didn't have to dip it in there hard at all there was really no kick up whatsoever it feels really soft and smooth to the touch um, so a really really nice formula now the darkest the deepest darkest matte shade in this palette is just the opposite it didn't swatch very well it didn't swatch as pigmented and um, again that's pretty typical for Juvia's Place really dark matte shadows as well they, they don't usually swatch well at all but they tend to work well on the eye and this one was there was it's more powdery and there was more kick up in the pan with this dark shade but it did apply well I thought I think the best way to use this is to apply it when your eyeshadow primer is still tacky 
this was the second shade that I I um I applied and so I felt like adherence would have been better I, it was really good on this eye I don't know why and this is the good eye <laughs> but I think adherence would have been better if um, I had applied it first and usually not all the time but usually that's how I apply my shadows I use the darkest one first in the outer V and I will blend it out into the crease and then I'll go on top of it with a lighter shadow or a lighter shadow in the crease but uh, yeah I definitely think this one will work better with uh, on top of a, a tacky base and then this deep purple shimmer metallic shade here I was really expecting a lot more bang for my buck I was expecting it uh, I was expecting a lot more oomph um, that's why I went in with it wet as opposed to dry so I have to say I was a little disappointed with um, how it looked I mean it's still beautiful and I was still able to create a look that I really really like um, but yeah I was expecting more as opposed to the lilac metallic shade I got the impact out of this shade wet that I expected to get from the dark shade and I really didn't even need to go in the lilac shade with it wet because it it was it was doing the most <laughs> so actually in the inner corner I didn't even use it wet I used it dry and as you can see it has just as much punch but yeah so and then the other metallic I put on my lower lash line and that worked out just fine I'm sure it too would have been more impactful if I had wet it but yeah I used every shade in the palette except that middle one I just you know I just don't feel I mean you could certainly use it in a different color combination on the eye and I'm sure it'll look it'll fit right in with the purple theme but for what I was going the look I was going for today it didn't really fit in and I really wanted to keep it purple I really do love these violet these blue violet purples as this palette is um, these these grape purple shades these are really my favorite purple shades and so it's really really nice to have a true purple palette and an, and a mini and you really like they, they I feel like they kind of they really covered the basics in terms of the different shades of purples and I think the ones that they made metallics were great choices and then the mattes uh, shades that they chose were great choices so I think it's a very nice curated purple palette and easy to travel with when you're on the go easy to pick it up and just do a look using just the one palette which is what i did today so very very happy to have it of course Juvia's place somewhere down the line will have it on sale whether or not it comes to alt if they come to ulta i don't know but you can certainly get it for less than 14 dollars you'll just have to wait a little while um but I didn't want to wait <laughs> so I love the look that I created with this palette today and I did compare it with some of the shades in the magic palette and the um, the masquerade palette and they're really not similar this shade fossil here which is my favorite shade in the magic palette sort of reminded me of this shimmery lilac shade in the violets palette and the this these shades don't have um, these shadows don't have any names in this palette so let me just do a little comparison swatch for you the shades are quite similar but Faso is more of a blue this is Faso and this is the shade in the violets palette and the facile shade is a little more blue and more duo duochrome it's like a blue violet purple whereas this one in the violets um, palette is more lilac so they are similar but they are not the same um, but you could certainly you know on the eye could you really tell if you don't know the colors that well probably not but um, there is a, a little bit of a difference and they're both beautiful and then this one too has a dark purple I don't think the the purple in the, this um, palette 
works as well as the purple, the dark purple in this palette. Um, and I will swatch this one for you as well. This one in the, um, the Magic palette is just really, really dry. <laughs> feels, feels really dry. The one in the Violets palette is a lot softer. And these are the comparisons. So this one is the one in the Violets. And this is the Magic. This is Ife from the Magic palette. And the two are very similar. Um, this one though is darker and it's a much darker purple and this one is more um, of a blue purple but you could certainly I feel like with the um, other Juvia's, Juvia's Place palettes you could certainly do a similar look and I'm sure you already have um, palettes and shadows in your collection that you could do this look with as well but it's nice having them all in one palette. I really like the convenience because <laughs> I'm lazy of having them all in one palette. <laughs> so if you would like to see how I created this look today using the Violets palette from Juvia's Place, then keep on watching. I'm starting off the look using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion. And I'm just going to put that all over everywhere. I'm going to go into the palette and I'm going to start with this matte lilac shade and the Sonia G Blender Pro Brush. And I'm going to place that into my crease. And I went back multiple times to build up the shade and blend it out. And when I first apply, I tap it and then I start using blending motions back and forth and circular motions to blend it out. And I was very happy to see that not only did this color show up on my skin tone without a white base or any base, but um, it also stayed true to color. It looks the same way on my eye as it does in the pan, which has been difficult for me to find beautiful pastel light shades like this that do that. So, of course, I should have expected that from Juvia's Place. Now I'm going to take that deep dark purple matte shade and a Wayne Goss brush. I don't know if it's the 16 or the 15. And I'm going to tap that into that outer V area and part way onto the lid before I start blending it out with back and forth and circular motions in the crease. And again, I went back into the palette multiple times to build up this color to the depth that I wanted it to be, but I didn't feel like I, it was patchy. I felt like it was there was some patchiness that I didn't, I could still see some of my skin peeking through. And I do have aging eyes, so I have a lot of um, folds and wrinkles. And so it can be difficult to color, uh, to cover all of my skin. Um, oftentimes I will stretch out my eyelid to make it smoother. So to make sure that I do get every area but I could still see some of my skin peeking through. So I changed my brush to a smaller, more densely packed shader brush. This is from Real Techniques to tap that color in and build it up. And I don't think I ever quite got it to the uh, opacity or get it, got it to be as opaque as I would have liked it to have been and even. See, I can still see some of my, uh, my skin showing through, but I soldiered on. I felt like it went better. It applied better um, on uh, my other eye for some reason. And as dark as this shade is, as pigmented as it is, it did blend out very well. And it didn't blend away, which can also happen with really pigmented um, shadows as well. So it didn't do any of that. And now I'm taking that uh, oh I didn't show you in the pan my apologies I'm taking that dark metallic shade and I am placing it on some three quarters of my lid um, with a damp brush this is a, a Sephora shader brush and I was really expecting a lot more oomph and pow and just a lot more brightness with this shadow that's what I'm used to with Juvia's Place and I mean still pretty still came out very nice but 
just didn't have that punch that I'm used to with the Juvia's Place Metallics. Going into the palette again, and now I'm taking that metallic lilac shade on a damp Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow brush. And as you can see, the difference between these two shadows is like night and day. This gave me all of the punch, all of the impact, all of the va 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 voom <laughs> that I was expecting from that dark shade. I mean, it was so like bright and metallic that I it it was going to overwhelm. I thought it was going to overtake um, the whole look and overtake that dark metallic shade on the lid. So to combat that, I went back in with that same brush, no additional product on it, but I'm going to alternate between this brush and the lilac shade, um, making sure I overlap these shades so that they blend seamlessly together. And as you can see, by doing this, it did tone down that metallic light shade a bit so that it didn't overtake the whole eye look. And now I'm just going back in with that brush, no additional product on the brush, and I'm just blending out that deep shade again, making sure that everything blends seamlessly together. I'm going to go back in with the matte lilac shade and blend out the edges of that dark shade and make sure I didn't lose any of that color um, in the inner corner as well. And here I'm just wiping up. I didn't have any fallout from either the either one of the metallic shades. This is just where I went over out of bounds with my blending and my application, but um, no fallout, which was very nice. And now I'm going in with the LA Girl Neon Eyeliner in the shade Vivid. And as you can see, it's neither neon or vivid but it was the perfect color to go with this eye look and I'm just placing that in my waterline and a little bit onto the lower lash line and now I'm going to take that lighter metallic shade and a Makeup Geek pencil brush and I'm going to put that smack dab in the middle of the lower lash line and blend it out three quarters of the way on to the middle of the lower lash line then I'm going to wipe off this brush and I'm going to go back in with that metallic lilac shade and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. Making sure to blend it into that first shade I put down and then back in with the same brush and that dark uh, matte shade and putting that on the outer corner of the lid making sure to connect it to the upper eyelid and this is the completed look I used the kiss faux mink lashes in the style boudoir and my Rimmel scandal eyes precision liner um, in black let me know in the comments below if you're planning to pick up any one of the four mini palettes and which one will you get which one is your favorite also, I hope that you will come back for when I do the berries, swatches, and tutorial as well. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.